Oh, just in time to watch everything burn. As per usual. Well, I might as well go and try and cap it. And why not take the express elevator straight in down. Yes, there we go. <laughs> and I didn't flip it. I'm impressed with myself. I did well. Yes. Oh, let's let's calm now. Let's just have a look and see how fuck me that was high. Oh, I'm so happy I didn't flip. <laughs> Hello there YouTube and welcome back to War Thunder. So today I'm going to be driving out fighting vehicle 4202. This was an experimental tank based on the Centurion medium tank. It was developed from 1956 to 1959 and did not go into mass production. So this vehicle did not see active service. But it was the precursor to the Chieftain main battle tank. Um, it's effectively just another paper tank for War Thunder. It's one of these tanks that looks good but really didn't see combat. It was just a tester, really, before the main show. Um, I'm going to compare it here with a Centurion. As you can see, upper and lower glacis are distinctly different. Um, the sides and back are pretty much the same, just minor differences between the thickness of the armour only a few centimetres here and now. Um, as you can see the upper and lower glacis are at a bit of a tighter angle. Um, I'm going to move to the Chieftain. <coughs> here you can see the distinct difference in the turrets. Obviously this is the later developed turret which was a lot sturdier than the experimental one and therefore the one that was actually battle ready. I'm just switching back here to the Centurion. I just want to point this out. The Centurion carries 84mm 20 Panda OQF Mark I cannon. The exact same cannon on fighting vehicle 4202. The only difference is you will not find the APDS shot on fighting vehicle 4202. Um, you get the Mark I and the HE, but not the APDS. Um, I'm not sure why, it is exactly the same cannon and it fires with the exact same muzzle velocity, so I don't know, I did bring up a similar point in my Sherman combo video, uh, War Thunder's historical accuracy, <laughs> um, overall the tank's pretty standard, it is the experimental version, it doesn't go very fast, it doesn't manoeuvre very fast and like most British tanks it doesn't reverse very fast. Um, other than that, yeah, I'm not sure what else to really say about the actual statistics for it. Um, but I'll show you the armour. The lower glacis is it's not too bad. Upper glacis, however, you're getting penned. Sorry, you are. You've got some nice hard points here. But right next to the turret, you've got, hang on, you've got this. Ouch. Don't get hit. Same with the sides and with the top. I've been penned right in the middle there from directly in front from an 88mm. It's not fun. The cupola, yet again, another weak point. Um, structural steel on these side panels, they will not stop incoming shells. It will rip straight through them regardless. And, oh, stay still. There we, no, there we go, 51.2mm on the inside. Yeah, it's not gonna stop it. 31 on the back. The only decent point is 60 millimeters on top of the turret, which will stop 20 millimeter um, cannon round. But if you get bumped up to 7.0 and you get a Halton attacking you, yeah, you're dead. Sorry. <laughs> um, as for inside the tank, you are sitting on top of a shit ton of ammo, right next to the driver and right underneath the turret crew. Not to mention two large fuel tanks either side of the engine. And then you've got the radiators behind them, two of them, and a large transmission at the back. So I'm going to swing this tank back round and I will get into some gameplay and I hope you enjoy what I've got for you. Okay then guys, so you join me here just after our team has captured C. And just as an M46 in front gets absolutely vaporised by a panther. Um, as you can see, the enemy are holding A and B. 
and we're having to duck in here. Oh, thank you. Due to this panther at the end of the road. Um, I'm going to have to manoeuvre myself around and see if I can't get a shot. Is this guy going to take a shot? Because I don't want to drive out and him, him drive in front of me. Are you going? No? Yes? Maybe? Not quite sure? Fine, I'll go. I mean, I understand you in an M18 it hasn't got much armour, but Jesus Christ, take a look at my stats. Oh, shit, okay. I missed, he got me, but lucky enough, it bounced off. Whew, and now he's calling in artillery. That was lovely. Ugh. I might need a change of underwear after this match. And, oh, come on. Right, let's back up the tent, because I don't want to get hit by artillery. Because that will spoil my day. If it hits him, it's going to be even worse for him in the open top vehicle. I'm going to move back a bit more. Stop that. Oh! Oh, shit! That hit him right on the fucking front of his tank as well. I believe that was on the front of his turret. Uh, is it? Oh, no. He's still going. Wow. Okay. God, if that had been my M18, it would have gone up like a Roman candle. Let's try and back this guy up. There we go. Right, I've taken out his load up. Oh, he's backed up. Now, I didn't expect that. If it had been his gun, I would have expected him to back up, but he's loader. Now, oh, I'll take my opportunity. I'm going to quickly shift up here. And then, as soon as I get up to that little dirt road, you can see, I'm going to make a hard right and get into cover. And, yeah, there's some tanks up just by sea. So, I'm going to try and manoeuvre around behind them to help our team out and to try and keep hold of sea because they are pushing really hard at the moment and our team is literally wasting away oh my god come on dude alright I'm going to get up here check left check right and then move where's he going? where are you going? oh come on really? ok right now that dipshit's out of the way have a look. I not see anything. Double check there. No, right. Oh, and he's in front of me again. Hello. What we got here? Oh, tiger. Oh, missed my opportunity. But there's a panther. Panther 2. Yeah. This guy is lucky that Team Coon's been turned off. I'm serious. Because that is starting to get on my nerves. Come on, let's reload. Get out of it. Yeah, okay. So, two tanks spotted and effectively I've lost both kills. Okay, you go that way, I'll go this way. And please stay out of my fucking face. Huh. You always have to get them. I don't know why, they, they seem to be attracted to me. But we're going to carry on with the gameplay and hope for the best. And is, is that a tank? Did I see something through the rubble? Yeah, I did. Hang on. That, what was that a panther? One. Oh, two panthers. An F and an A, maybe, or a G, or a D. One of them. Okay. Nice hit on him. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's still going. What the hell is he doing? Okay, well, I'll take the opportunity to sort him out. Oh crap. No, 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 no. Oh! Oh, he must have hit one of the harder points on the turret. Yeah. Are you going back? Okay then, I'm not playing this game, mate. Hang on, wait. There you go. Now where are you going, dickhead? Oh, <laughs> and you shoot the tram. Who's going to reload faster, me or you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, god damn. Right, I've been here in the back of the turret and I'm taking out my cannon breach. Let's get around this corner quick. Oh no, they did it to me. They took out my track. Damn it. Yeah, I think he's going to get me. I think he's going to... Oh, MGs. Okay, I might be okay. It might... He might not have the parts, actually. But he might be lucky. Come on, come on. Repair. Repair. Holy shit. 
Okie dokie then. Okay then guys, so for my second spawn I've decided to come out in the plane. This is the Spitfire Mark 22 Griffin, um, equipped with six rockets on the wings and the universal ammunition for the 20mm Hispano um, cannons. And C's just been captured, so I'm going to come down here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Straight away is a target. Two targets. See if we can get one. Oh, I thought we might have had two then for a second. Shit. What was that? Was that an Arado or was that an IL-2? IL that was an IL-4. I don't know what that was. Jesus Christ. I thought I was going fast. <laughs> that kind of put me off. Um, there are planes coming in. I'm sure. I'm pretty much sure. I see a bomber coming in and a fighter behind him. There's the bomber. Yep, yeah, there we go. And I wasn't going mental. And yet yeah, there he is. There's a the fighter just above and high. We're going to ignore the fighter and we're going to go straight for the bomber because that DO could potentially do a hefty lot of damage on our team. I mean, we're losing anyway, but we just want to shoot some people down, so why the hell not? Fuck off, Kugel Blitz. No, ow. That is not very neighbourly. Sod off. Where's he went? Right, there we go. Oh, we've done some nice damage. He's actually trailing a bit of smoke. And, are you serious? What a noob, noob manoeuvre. Thanks for the opportunity, mate. Goodbye. Go on. There you go. I never understood why people were doing that. Okay, where did that fighter go? Holy shit. Kugel bits are still on me. Sod off. Um. Not behind it. No, what the hell was that? Graphical blip, I think. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. I hate it when people do that. And why did they not understand about the flat around the uh, airfields? Hang on, then. Let's get this guy. Oh, completely missed him. But he's turning. Go on. Keep it up. Go on, turn again. Turn again. Oh, go on. Yep. Yeah. Amateur. Sorry, buddy. Oh. Don't turn. Don't turn. Why do you people turn? <laughs> well, I think this is going to be pretty much the end of this game. I will probably jump into one more anyway after this and see what happens. Okay then guys, so we are back on advance to the Rhine. Why this map again? Because this is the only one at the moment I seem to be getting. I'm cursed to play this map at the moment, so I'm going to duck down the back here and try and get away from the fire. Holy shit, that T-34-100 just got vaporised. <laughs> oh, rather you than me mate. So I'm going to duck down the back here. I'm not sure why I keep coming down to this back road. I always end up getting into trouble when I do. I must be a glut of a punishment here. And there's already tanks down the bottom. I'm going to try and get round and get into the, the cover of this rubble. Oh, right, I've taken out your transmission. Let's go, go, go. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Why am I saying quick? This tank don't go quick. What am I talking about? Oh, dear. Okay then guys, so I have a plane for my second spawn. Why not the Mark 22 as before? Well, simply, I never had enough spawn points because some dipshit in a Jag Panther one-shotted me straight away. So I had enough for this, which is the um, Firefly with 16 rockets, which is a pretty decent loadout, and I'm, yet, I'm heading straight for that back road. And there's one, two, three, I'm gonna go for the guy right in the middle. Let's take them out. Oh, shit! Oh, double kill. No way. Now that, I only really expect to happen with bombs. I can't recollect that ever happened to me before with um, rockets. <laughs> wow, that's, that's a pretty decent fucking airstrike. Okay, guys, I'm going to play this last little bit here but I want to thank everyone for watching the video if you're new to the channel and new to my videos um, please hit the subscribe button 
Um, feel free to comment or to give me a like if you want. And I will catch you guys soon for another episode of War Thunder. So do me a favour and have a, a lovely day or night. And take care of yourself and have fun playing War Thunder. Oh, what a crash. <laughs>